the come from on you to please stand. As I mentioned to you at the beginning of my remarks, many of us, most of us, were baptized as babies. And so these very questions that I'm about to ask you were answered by your parents. But you're not babies anymore. And you can answer these questions for yourselves by the power of the Holy Spirit. So with voices that are strong and confident, the answer to these questions is, I do. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as He was given to the Apostles? on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith that your parents took you to the church to be baptized into. And now this is the faith that the Holy Spirit will seal in you through this special sacrament. And so, my friends, let us pray to God, the Father Almighty, for these, his adopted sons and daughters, already born again to eternal life and baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through this anointing to conform them more fully to Christ the Son of God. Father, let men come and join me as we pray over these candidates. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety, and fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So now I ask the Confirmandi and their sponsors to come forward for the rite of confirmation. Maria, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Timothy, be sealed with gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Peter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Paul, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Teresa, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit.
sisters without discrimination of race or nation and with sincere hearts seek the kingdom of God which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Almighty Lord, through his most holy body and blood. So we ask you on this day that you heighten our awareness to your presence in the sacraments. For we know, Lord, that as we celebrate them, we come to know you, and in doing so, come to more fully know ourselves. Offering this to you, Lord, as always, through Christ our Lord. Amen.
yours will be made acceptable to God and the Almighty Father. Especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with the holy Vietnamese martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your primitive church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Job our Bishop, and the order of bishops and the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also, Lord, your servants reborn in baptism, whom you have been pleased to confirm by bestowing the Holy Spirit, and in your mercy keep safe in them your grace. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who will listen to you, that they passing from, the, from this life, Give kind evidence to your kingdom. There we hope we enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. To Christ our Lord, to open to bestow on the world for that mystery. Through him and we.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord.
and it's a sign that the parents and grandparents love the young people very much. So thank you. Uh, you have a great deal to help in our local Austin area. You are one of the shining stars here in our area. So thank you for your witness, and thank you for allowing me to be here today. I noticed that there were several young ladies who had the name Teresa. There was one who was Teresa of Avila. If you are Teresa of Avila, stand up so we can see who you are. One of you actually had the name Teresa of Avila. Now, there are many other Teresas. If you think that the Teresa you selected was Teresa of Avila, please stand. I'd like to see if there's any other any of you who selected the name Teresa, I guess it must be Teresa of Calcutta. Is that right, Father Lynn? Well, this nice young lady here, uh, Teresa of Avila, is one of the most important saints in all of the church. She is a doctor of the church, the 24 most expert theologians in the history of the church. And St. Teresa of Avila wrote a beautiful little prayer she lived in the 16th century in Avila, Spain. She was a Carmelite nun. And she wrote this beautiful prayer that I think is so sacramental. It speaks to what it means when we receive God in the sacraments. What has just happened to us in the Eucharist. Here's what St. Teresa of Avila said. And it's so fitting for today. She said, Christ has no body now, but yours. He ascended into heaven. Your body is the body that Christ will use to go out into the world. He has no hands now, but yours. It is your hands that will do his work in the world. He has no feet now, but yours. He ascended into heaven. It is your feet that will take him out into the world. He has no ears now, but yours. It is through your ears that he will hear the prayers of the world. He has no eyes now, but yours. It is through your eyes that he will see the world. This is what it's all about. This is what happens to us when we receive God in the sacraments. Is that we receive him, he takes up residence in us. And then it is in our body that he goes out into the world. That's what St. Teresa of Avila was saying. So congratulations on having such an outstanding saint. She's one of the most important women in the history of the church. Maybe you will become a great theologian yourself, just like St. Teresa of Avila. Let's give Teresa of Avila a So once again, thank you so much. And uh, remember, Bishop Vasquez holds you very dear to his heart. And he knows that we're here today, and I promise you, he has remembered all of us in his prayers today. May God bless you, and know that Bishop Vasquez extends his very sincere blessing upon this community. The Lord be with you. Oh, I'm sorry. Please be seated. Good afternoon, members and friends. My name is Elizabeth Trinjahan. On behalf of the 2023-2024 Confirmation class, I would like to express my gratitude on this very special day of our journey for the discipleship of Christ. You, the very Reverend James Minsko, the Car General, and the moderator of the Curia of the Diocese of Austin, we thank you for administering the sacrament of confirmation for us today. Your personal love, guidance, and prayer means the world to us. We'll keep you close in our prayer as you continue to serve alongside Bishop Vasquez. Thank you very much. Dear Father Layman Bath, thank you for your pastoral leadership and your attention to the spiritual needs of our parish. May God bless you abundantly as you shepherd our parish. To Deacon Martha Clapp, our dedicated teachers and the Parish Parents Association, <coughs> Her tireless work behind the scene over the past nine months has been a blessing. From the weekly group, group discussion to the retreat and its confirmation celebration mass, we have learned and understood more of God's love and gift through the Holy Spirit. Thank you for, for creating this wonderful confirmation program. 
May God bless you and your families as we faithfully serve him in our parish. Undoubtedly, we are deeply grateful for the unwavering support and nurturing of our parents, family, and friends over the years. Your sacrifices and guidance have shaped us into who we are today. Thank you for your love and encouragement. Nhân ngày khi mẫu, chúng con xin cảm ơn các bà mẹ đã luôn yêu thương và hy sinh cho gia đình. Happy Mother's Day. As we embrace this new chapter in our lives, we are confirmed in the Holy Spirit. We are inspired by God's love through Jesus Christ. Our promise to you is to shine for Christ, to love as God has loved us, and to serve as Christ has served. The road ahead may be challenging, but with Christ and the Holy Spirit in our hearts, we are confident in making a difference in our lives and in the life of others. Please continue to pray for us, guide us as needed, and encourage us whenever we can. Once again, thank you all very much. Dear the very Reverend Misko and Father Newman, before we conclude, we have some beautiful flowers as appreciation for you.